Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're here to talk about uh, and continue to talk about the series of my favorite fragrance notes. Today we're going to be tackling the notes of citruses. So anything that has citruses, uh, citrus combos like lemon, limes, grapefruit, um, bergamot, neroli, you name it. If it's citrus, it's going to be featured here. And the great thing about this video is I'm going to give you guys a spectrum of fragrances that works for everybody. You're gonna have something that's more affordable but also smells great and performs and you get something here that is just high-end niche fragrance that you know if you're looking to spend a lot of money but you're gonna get quality, you're gonna see that fragrance here. So I'm gonna give you guys a 10 best citrus fragrances in my opinion in this video. But before I start, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the palette that I really go for with the citrus. You know, citrus fragrance is something that I truly love when it's really hot out and the first fragrance that comes to mind is 4711 Colonia, which was uh, introduced in the market in 1792, so it's been around for a long, long time, and I just wish 4711 Colonia would last longer on my skin. I usually like to wear that fragrance as an aftershave, or I like to layer with other things to get more out of that scent, but it's just a fantastic scent. I love that scent, as well as some Ford Neroli Portofino, which is the same kind of thing. It lasts a little bit more than 4711 Colonia, and if you want like a cheaper choice, but it's gonna last longer than 4711 Colonia, but not as good probably, or just as good, or maybe even a little bit better to be honest with you, go with Ferrari Bright Neroli, which is kind of hard to find right now, but wait a little while, it's gonna get back into the market and you'll be able to find it, because right now it's in demand. Uh, Ferrari Bright Neroli is another great choice if you like some Ford Neroli Portofino. And also I think Neroli Portofino's Forte will give you a couple hours longer lasting power, but it is very expensive. You're, you're talking about two, 200 plus for a 50 mil bottle. So that's the kind of palette, that's the kind of the aroma that I like to go for when I talk about citrus fragrances. So let's jump into my top 10, or this is in no particular order, but these are the top 10 fragrances that I love with the citrus genre. Let's jump right into it. So starting off with this one right here, this is Zerzhoff or Zerzhoff Neo. My number one fragrance for the summer niche uh, this year. Just a phenomenal combination of citrus scents. If, if you like neroli and bergamot, this is the best neroli and bergamot combo you can possibly think of. It lasts forever. It's one of those fragrances that all you need is two sprays and you get to get, you know, 10, 12 hours. It's one of those that, you know, you get what you pay for with the brand Sarjoff. This is a 50 ml bottle. Um, these go for a lot of money. I'll have the link down below for all these fragrances if you wish to pick, pick them up. Uh, this is probably the most expensive here in this list, but you get your money's worth. This is a phenomenal citrus combination fragrance. It's got body, it's got depth, and it lasts a long time. So if you like citrus and you wanna have one amazing citrus fragrance, go for a Neil, you're not gonna regret. Now this next fragrance is one that also made my top uh, favorite niche summer scents this year. It's a fantastic green, citrus, earthy kind of fragrance. I absolutely love it. It's one that when it's really, really hot and muggy out, I can't do without. This is Bond Number no. Nine's Eau de New York. Criminally underrated. People don't talk about this fragrance much, but for the hot weather, this one here is a staple in my rotation. Just a beautiful fragrance, man. Green, earthy, citrus, just long lasting. It's six plus hours for a citrus fragrance. It's amazing. If I spray my clothes, eight plus hours. So Bond Number no. Nine, Eau de New York. Try this if you love citrus. Now here's another one that has a beautiful note of bergamot, perhaps the best bergamot fragrance in this list. A little bit floral in the heart, just lasts six to eight hours, great for a citrus fragrance. One that I absolutely love, always makes my top three summer niche. This is Bergamot 22 from Le Labo. A little bit pricey, but it's a phenomenal, but it's a phenomenally constructed fragrance. It's gonna last, it's gonna make you smell great. Uh, similar to Versace Eau Fraiche, doesn't have the carambola fruity note up top. You really get that bergamot, some white florals. Amazing fragrance. If you like bergamot, this is definitely one to check out. Now this next one is a new addiction of mine. I recently found out about this fragrance about two and a half months ago. I've been wearing this like crazy. It's one of those fragrances that just smells amazing. Any kind of setting, any kind of scenario, you are guaranteed to smell amazing and make a great first impression. This is Bois 1920 Verde di Mare, or translating the green of the sea. This has some aquatic, oceanic notes, if you will, but the combination, the amazing melange of citrus fruits that you get up top with tangerines, uh, mandarin oranges, Amalfi lemon, Cecilia bergamot, it's just amazing. It dries down to this beautiful woodsy, vetiver kind of earthy undertone but you never ever lose that citrus root with the scent it's an amazing fragrance 
check it out, Bois 1920 Verde de Mare. If you like a beautiful citrus combo, like I said, with the vetiver earthy dry down, this is a must. Now, if you guys follow this channel, you know that for work scent, you know, when I'm wearing something like this and I'm going into the office, I absolutely love the house of Aqua de Palma. I think they do that fantastically. It's just very easy to wear, uh, very conducive of the professional scent. And this here is Colonia Assoluta, which takes the 1816 creation Colonia to the next level, adding a lot of depth to it with some amber uh, sandalwood, giving it like a creamy kind of undertone, but you also get that amazing citrus up top with lemons, limes, um, oranges. It's just an amazing citrus fragrance. If you love citrus, Colonia Assoluta is the way to go. If you like the Colonia genre that I talked about, like 4711, but you want something that lasts a little bit longer, not gonna break the bank. This is like mid-range from all the fragrances we're talking about here. It's not the highest um, priced one, but it's also a little in the pricier side, but it's one that's worth every penny. Aqua Assoluta, if you like citruses and you want something that lasts a little longer in the professional setting, this is one you should check out. Okay, now this next one here is kind of like a hidden gem of mine that I love to wear in the summertime. I don't talk much about this. I like to keep it in a hush-hush, but today I'm gonna share it with you because it's such a beautiful scent, so underrated, just flies under the radar. Nobody talks about it. And I think it's time that this gets a little bit of recognition of frat gum. This is Solo by Lovi, which is a, a Spanish company. This has an amazing citrus combo up top with the fruity note of guava. So it gives this fragrance a little bit of an edge from the other citruses out there. It has this really beautiful woodsy, ambery, tangerine, uh, kind of oak mossy dry down. It's just very hard to describe, but it's one that just smells amazing. When it's really, really hot out, uh, if I'm casual, or if I wanna make a really cool first impression, this is very unique scent, and I don't hear anything about it. Lovi, Spanish company, Solo, is definitely one that you have to check out. If you want something unique in the summertime, and if you love citruses, but you want something that's citruses with an edge, this is the way to go. All right, this next fragrance here, if you like oranges, this one here is a must. This fragrance, it's unbelievable. I don't have the bottle with me right this second. Uh, it's gonna appear next to me. This is Orange Sanguine from Atelier Cologne. What a beautiful orange fragrance. It's so natural smelling. You're gonna have a feeling like somebody just poured fresh, squeezed, OJ on you. It just smells that amazing. It has some amber, some sandalwood uh, to give it some depth, and it has some geranium that gives this kind of cooling effect of the fragrance. But the, the star, um, you know, the, the main player here is definitely the oranges. It's just an amazing orange. This is a must have if you love oranges from Atelier Cologne, Orange Sanguine. Now, this next fragrance here is one that doesn't get much talk. Uh, I understand it's a little bit linear. It doesn't last that long, you get five to six hours, but it's unbelievable. While it lasts, the smell is just fantastic. It's an amazing smell of fresh cut Calabrian lemons with grapefruit blossom. This here is from Francois de Machy. This is your Homme Cologne from 2013, and boy, did he nail it. It's an amazing freshy. If you want a Dior fragrance that has that amazing Christian Dior quality, that's gonna give you a refreshing, sparkly, fizzy, uplifting feel. Dior Homme Cologne's one to check out. You guys know how much I love my citruses in the summertime? This is one that it's no slouch and you should not sleep on it. Go check it out, Dior Homme Cologne. Now this next one is an outstanding summer hot weather scent. This is a fragrance that was really overlooked. It was released in 2014. The fragrance community hardly ever spoke about this fragrance. And just now, over the past year or so, it's getting the recognition it deserves. Uh, this is Terre de Hermes Eau Très Fresh. I believe this made uh, first year's appearance on my top summer designer, and it's come as a first choice. My first choice for designer is Eau Très Fresh. Amazing melange of citruses up top, a woody base. It smells amazing, it's gonna last six to eight hours on my skin. If I spray my clothes, I get eight plus. This is a perfect balance between citruses and woods. Very, very underrated. Go check it out if you haven't, Eau Très Fresh a must have in the hot weather if you love citruses. All right, now this last fragrance I'm gonna share with you is actually another one that's rather linear, but it's just an amazing, amazing fragrance. I get six to seven hours on average with this fragrance. A lot of people complain about performance, but the smell itself is just a stellar, amazing, warm weather citrus fragrance. This here is a key lime pie or the meringue lemon pie of the fragrance community. By now you should know I'm talking about Chanel's Edition Blanche or Chanel's Allure Edition Blanche. I love this fragrance. It's creamy, it's sexy, it's easy to wear. Heck, it's gonna be my scent of the day today. Love the scent. You know, if you guys love citrus, fresh, sparkly, fizzy, 
just invigorating, sexy scents. This here is amazing. Chanel Allure Edition Blanche. Even though it's linear and it has, like I told you, this amazing melange of citruses and I think it has some vetiver also. It's linear, but the vetiver here also peeks through. And the great thing about this, it has a hint of the gourmand factor with the lemon meringue pie or the key lime pie, which makes this so appealing. It's one that you will not, you can over, over spray. I just did, I think four or five sprays right now. You can't over spray this fragrance and you always will smell amazing. So Chanel Allure Homme de Chambon Blanche is my last choice for my favorite citruses. So then there were 10. So those were my 10 favorite citruses at this time. I know they change all the time, but I wanted to also give you guys some opportunity to have a spectrum of citrus fragrances that you could check out. If you're on a budget, there's a lot of fragrances here that are not gonna break the bank. If you wanna spend a lot of money and get really quality citruses, you can also do so with some of these fragrances. Now I want you to tell me down in the comment section below, what are your favorite citrus fragrances to wear in the hot weather or throughout the year. Maybe you're in a place that's tropical, that the weather's warm all year round, and you have your favorite citruses. Please share with me, because maybe I'm, I'm missing something here, or I haven't checked out something that I should. Please comment in the section below and share it with everybody what you think are the best citruses out there. Another thing I'd like to ask you, and I would like to invite you to comment down in the section below, is let me know what would you like me to feature as my favorite note top 10 fragrances next. Should I talk about tobacco fragrances? Should I talk about leather-based fragrances? Or should I talk about gourmand, uh, dessert-like fragrances? You let me know, comment down below, and I will do my next top 10 favorite notes in fragrances in one of those three notes. You let me know which one you prefer to see a video on it. Stay tuned for a lot more comment coming your way. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel. Click on the little bell, notification bell that is, so you can get notifications as I post videos, which is quite often. Thank you so much for watching. Keep on sharing the passion and keep on spraying. I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.